and we, as you can see we have the um they are taking the truck inside about Kasebi for the three four long they're going to the three four long race right now all right we have already have two races already but this was just like sorry it's like a local race bareback no saddle all right and that, that, that was the first one and the second one was um like a like cowboy race and um I, I, a man he may come in first right but he was like the man before he was cheated, I don't know if he don't think that he had the race winning I, I, I hold the hat I ready from behind or boom so I come on come back on and win Thanks, Lenny. Lenny is in. Bye. Just know the guy race just now and I got drinks of water and I know the house and it's in there already. And all I hear is say, go. <laughs> you can. Race begin. Lenny, I don't know if you could share the live from, from, um, on, from the page. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to do it. Do it any, but I'll move on this time. I'll it. Um, we have two hours to so be going inside. Yeah, two hearts, race. Make sure it has him. Then Too hard to see. I don't know if um, right there is. The area is packed. Let me show the, the area how it now. You know. You're staying. You're staying. You're staying. You're staying. You're staying. You're Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, 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 come, 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 Ah, uh, over that side is uh, where they um, have the houses. And I think two more have to come up right now. Yeah. Sorry. Huh? I think it's because before half, two more half is coming in. Yes, in the morning. 
Yeah, yeah brother. Cool. But I did it for YouTube. Can find it. Yeah, I, I don't know. You remember, remember when Putin landed for the first time? Testing, 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 one, two. Yes, folks, we bring you to the third race of the day here at the beautiful Peter Vargas Memorial Stadium. Like we have six horses inside the starting gate. A while ago, we were trying to do things the correct way, but you always have somebody who want to do their own way. Um, we, we would like, uh, after this, for the horses to, to follow, the, the lead horse is going to be the, the uh, cattle horse they are being... Um, uh, given to us here to, 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 to do the honors here by Mr. Lewis August, but um, third race of the day at Chief Farlong. And like I was telling you a while ago, you see the starting gate lined up at the Chief Farlong. And while, um, like I said, I was a while, a while ago, a couple of years ago from horse racing. So if I do any mistake, do bear in mind with me and do, and I am stand to be corrected. But one, one thing I like to tell you about horse racing is that horse racing do not have curves. I um, mean, in, in the chats, you have turns and we have home stretch. In front of us, we have the home stretch over by where part the uh, grandstand, the, the gate is, that is the back stretch. Our tracks are not really ovals, but um, we have the first turn, the second turn, the third turn, and then the last turn. We don't have cur curves, like curves, only streets have curves. So each and every sport have their terminology. But last but not least, Three four lengths here at the beautiful Peter Vargas Memorial Stadium where harsh racing comes at the very best. Harsh racing is something that a big, it's a big thrill for a lot of us seeing these jackets out there. We don't know, we, we do not uh, really think about the, the jeopardy or the risk that they go through. You're riding a seven, eight hundred pound horse, a jacket is right there with a little bit over a hundred pounds, anything can happen out there. But they are the last ones that will think about any accident, but let's hope that it doesn't happen. Um, I, I used to try to be a jockey one time, um, but you know, they said I never was, but I, I tried. Nevertheless, here we go. Three, four, long mark. It's no other than son of a legend. And as you can see there, the name, the name songs, are, this seems to be a very, very heavy name. So we can say it's a favorite out here today. Son of a legend, here's from the Rudon stables is trained there by Jaren Rudon on a, on a board we have uh, Melo that is Mr. Sabala aka no other than Mr. Carmouche I call him he's wearing a blue with a yellow jersey right there that's right in passing in front here by the five following mark I cannot give you exactly the, the numbers they're gonna be going into the starting yet because they don't have a side clock I'm just giving you the way they register Ruby's goals is next Hailing from the Carrillo stables, we didn't get the trainer there, but it's written there by Arnold Guy. Uh, we are in the green jersey. We have we have another house by the name of Kulo Kulo from the Argilic stables, written there by Denver Greenwich. That's a blue and gray jersey. That's a very expensive jersey, guy. The Sea Biscuit coming from the Baldera stables. And like I said, this is a very senior. Horse in here, I think it's see biscuit is somewhere about 11 or 12 years old. In, in, in human years, that would be like 50 or 60, past my age. I can't even try to run out there. But see biscuit chained there by Manuel Rodriguez, written there by Manuel Rodriguez, uh, going over with, but he said he can do his thing out here today. Sometimes it's better to put a jacket that is heavier but can do the job. Then he's wearing the black with bug on the jersey. Lady J, here's from the banner stable. I think that's from Mr. Fendi Banner, right? Mr. Fred, is that from your stables? Lady J, uh, trained there by Sheriff Anderson. On our board, we have young Donald Arnold, and he's wearing a black and red jersey. Last but not least, Hot Cinnamon. 
hailing from the Whistling Ducks farm in Santa Familia, being trained there by legendary Gilmar Guy, Emil Guy, that's his song up there about... Testing, test. And there he's written and he's writing there that with that um, legendary colors of the guy's tables, that fluorescent color. That's the guy that's a mask going in there. We seem to be having a little issue right there, but nevertheless, we would like to thank you for raising the weather out there. The beautiful Peter Ragas Memorial Stadium. Testing, testing. Okay, folks, yeah. Okay, so we got a backup mic there. We have the horses going inside the starting gate in a short while. And then it's going to be no other than Sea Biscuit going inside the starting gate. Last but not least, we're going to be seeing there, I think it seems to be um, Ruby's goal. And all to the back, from what I can see here, if uh, I, I'm not, I'm, I, I will need a binoculars for the next race. My eyesight is not going, is, is, is going in you know, as the air comes by. It seems that the last horse to load is going to be no other than Son of a Legend, ridden there by Melo with a blue and yellow jersey. And there's five horses inside the starting gate. It's going to be a three four long gallop here at the beautiful Peter Ragas Memorial Stadium. I don't know, it seems that they're having trouble. And uh, from what I can tell you, the experience when you're in there, these horses are in there. This is the time when a jockey, when he swallows his saliva, he feeds it dry. He feels his mouth bitter. He feels the sweat is sweating with those around those reins. All they want is for that starting gate to open and each and every jockey try to outwit one or other out there today. It's horse racing at its very best here at the beautiful Peter Ragas Memorial Stadium in the Twin Towns of San Ignacio and Santa Elena. As you can see, son of a legend giving a lot of trouble to go inside the starting gate. It can be a disadvantage for the other horses. And I will try to bring you run by run neck by neck eye by eye nose by nose action so like i said i've not been doing this for quite some time so if i do a little mistake like i said have patience with me and uh, and off they go and there it seems to be an oily leader by no other than no other than hot cinnamon from the guy's tables and then the other one we have ruby's doll also my Arnold guy, two brothers, head on head, nose to nose, neck on neck, and there seems to be no other than, let's see, son of a legend, son of a legend trying to come through the outside, he goes to, uh, he goes to, why, one more fallen to go, is son of a legend, but never giving up, we have no other than hat. Cinnamon and Ruby's goal, bringing up a little bit in the Kuno Kuno, and there goes Son of a Legend, Son of a Legend, and there goes no other than the second place there, that grey horse right there. You see that one horse, uh, I I think Sea Biscuit was, did not come out of the gate. I counted six horses, I saw only five if I'm correct, but now I have a let's go, folks. This is the three following race, the third race of the day. A beautiful race there, as you can see. It was it was hot cinnamon, but today it seems that the weather was a little cool. She wasn't too hot, but yeah, then she was for the first furlong. She was being there, um, uh, looking. She was being there, um, chatting there by no other than uh, Ruby. No, I don't have no time. Thirty-nine point. Point twenty four. That's a three follow mark. So guys, um, these are really what you say upgraded thoroughbreds. These are um, what you call you know the cruel term bamboo house. But I know they run like bamboo house on a tall. And Mr. Luis, if you can calculate thirty nine by three, that will give me what like thirteen per uh, per follow. Imagine thirteen seconds. We're not talking minutes. We're talking thirteen seconds per follow. A house covering thirteen seconds and two hundred and twenty yards, which is equivalent to one follow in 13 seconds that's hell of a speed these horses are basically running between 35 to 40 miles per hour and we must salute these jockeys these are one of the greatest athletes that you can have in the sport it's one of the most dangerous sports um i think a lot of people like horse racing and everything but more none of them will put their son out there to ride because they know the risk it has um and like i always said we we try to let these guys wear their helmets because i had that experience one time that if i didn't have my helmet with me i wouldn't be here announcing this race for you and telling you how it is so there we go let's put our hands together for son of a legend
hailing from the Rodon stables, written there by Melo, aka Kermi Carmouche. And there he goes with that beautiful jersey, seemed like he just sent and saw that yesterday. Look, like he come out of the closet. <laughs> yeah, and in second place there you have, let's see, the grey and black, the grey with black black and red seems to be Lady J, if I'm correct. Is that Lady J, Mr? That's Lady J from the Banner Stables. And in third place there, I think we had one of the other horses there from the guy's table, but nevertheless, guys, let's put our hands together for these brave athletes, these horses that have come out here today to do their thing, because I'd like to remind you, horse racing in Belize, is very expensive. The feed gone up, the vitamins gone up, everything. I tell you, when you win one Lee prize out there, you barely make back. I, 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 I know some man, I know some man and tell me, boy, my, my wife, they reel up because everything I buy for the house, shampoo for the house, this for the house, and I don't take care of she. One time my wife tell me the same thing, I tell her, I will get in a stable and I will bear you and brush you up. Right? That's part of the game, but it's the love of the sport. Yeah, let's put it hand together for Mr. Melo, the son of a legend from the Rodan Stables, and they are being presented by Biomed by Gilmar. Uh, that's the star race of the day, and he's the winner. And like I said, the second place went over to Lady J from the Banner Stable, and the third position was between Ruby Gold and Hot Cinnamon. I'm not really sure about that, but guys, we need to get some judges because I'm not judging any race, please. So I don't want to get into any controversy because I'm just announcing the race that I see. So I'm not no judge, so do not come here and ask me. So Mr. Lewis, can we get to that, that we get some judges uh, for the next races, please? So, okay, once every day, it's okay. Huh? Okay, sure. In a while, the next race, so that the next race, then we can give you a rundown, right? Yes, but I say for the next race, we need to make sure who the judges are because then I don't want nobody to come out here and try push my button and they say I know who win and who win because I don't know about that. Take it away, Mr. DJ. Yes, we are out here for the third race and uh, see them building Paka and Paka. So, in the next couple of minutes, we'll be having the other race. So, again, Lenny will be back again with we'll sign off and come back in the next 15 to 20 minutes.